Hey everybody, this is my 20 gallon tank I've got down here in my fish room and I did a little bit of work on it last night during my members only live stream. I've been talking about doing some work on this tank for a while. I was going to shoot some video of it, but I just have not had time. And so tonight we are going to get a little bit of a look at it. We are going to talk about it a little bit and we are going to do a little tiny bit of work to it that will sort of count as a before and after. All we're really going to do is add an air stone to it. So the thing that concerns me about this tank is the amount of cyanobacteria that was continuing to build up in it. Uh, again, I got in there last night and I did a big gravel vac. I got a lot of the cyanobacteria out of there, but you can see I've still got sort of dark green sheets of it growing on some of the fern in there. And you can see those mats on the back where I wasn't really able to uh, effectively get in there and do much of a gravel vac. So in the back you can see there's still some pretty dark sheets of cyanobacteria. There's some right behind that rock right there. And so I'm not going to do a treatment. We're not going to get in there with the ChemiClean or anything like that. I have a theory that the air stones alone are enough to keep these tanks from getting cyanobacteria developing in them. I used to have a huge problem with cyanobacteria in my discus tank here, and there were a few other tanks around the room. Uh, my 55 here used to have cyanobacteria in it really badly. It still does a little bit, but there's reasons for that. Uh, and then my Garami tank here used to have cyanobacteria in it really bad. And I've gotten on top of that recently. And again, it's the addition of this air stone in every single one of these tanks. One by one, I've gone around the room and I've added air stones to all of the tanks that I was having issues with. And every one of those has cleared up and I was no longer having issues. So this is the last tank that I'm still having struggles with the cyanobacteria. And even though I do have a small power head in the back down there that is circulating the water, it's not an air stone. It's just not the same as having an air stone in the tank. So let me get on that. I do have a little air pump in the other room and we're going to throw an air stone in there and then just have a quick few follow up thoughts once we get it in there. All right, it is subtle, I know, but it is definitely now in there. So I was also able to get in there and clear out some of the crud that was in the uh, little circulation pump down there that only moves about 80 gallons per hour, but the intake was all clogged up, so I got that opened up, and it's going to move a little more water. And all of these Tetra Whisper pumps that I get come not only with a backflow check valve but they also come with one of these little valves that you can open and close to decide how much air you want to flow through there so at full blast this thing was ridiculous it would look like a boiling kettle there was so much air bubbling out of that so i put that little valve on there i restricted the flow and now we have something approaching a reasonable amount of air bubbles for a 20 gallon tank so there you go, that's about all there is to it. I do still need to install the little backflow check valve just to make sure if the power goes out, I won't get a little bit of water flowing back the wrong way through this line. That does happen. And so those little one-way check valves are always a good idea to install if you have one. And again, these Tetra Whisper filters, or I'm sorry, these Tetra Whisper air pumps all come with both the little valve down here and the check valve that goes up near the water surface. And between the two of those, you should have everything you need to get a successful and silent air pump experience. I love my Tetra Whisper uh, air pumps. In fact, I will put a link to the air pump. This is a 10 to 30 gallon tank, but remember this 20 gallon tank was overwhelmed with bubbles at full blast. So they do a lot of work for being a small air pump. They last for years. They're super quiet, etc. I love them. Anyway, there you go. Make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss any updates on this tank or anything else. We're going to find out whether that cyanobacteria really comes back. And we're going to find out also, can I get on top of the existing cyanobacteria that is still in here? even without getting in there and doing a treatment, can we just deal with it by putting an air stone in the tank and letting that air stone do its thing. So make sure you're subscribed. 
and you won't miss any updates on that or anything else I've got going on. And don't forget, I do a live stream every Friday night and Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So thanks for watching. See you real soon in the next one.